Crash. And also breaking this evening, a heartbreaking loss for THP. We've learned a trooper has been killed as he was responding to a call out in Jackson, Tennessee. Lauren Lowry joining us now at the live desk. Lauren, the trooper's father just spoke not too long ago. Right, and Tracy, as you would imagine, it was emotional to hear from a father who just lost his oldest child. He painted a picture of a young man who was dedicated to serving others and chose law enforcement as a way to help people. Here's what we know about Trooper Matthew Gotti and his death. He was responding to a call of a car fire on I-40 eastbound in Jackson when he started to slide. His vehicle hit the back of a semi, which caused him to spin out of control and hit another semi. Gotti was pronounced dead at the scene. Here's what his father had to say not long ago. I want him to be remembered as somebody who loved people. I want him to be remembered as somebody who loved his God. Uh, the, the last picture I have of my son was last night at church. That's what I want him to be remembered as. Everything he did was for someone else and for his God. We know Trooper Gotti was 24 years old. He was stationed in Haywood County at the county scale facility. Before that, he was a correctional officer in Madison County. But Matt's father says he had the ability to touch people and change lives. Matt life with us on earth has ended but his legacy is going to live on i believe that with all my heart that his affecting people and changing their lives is going to outlive him because that's all he was about now june would have been trooper Gotti's one year anniversary with the highway patrol trooper matthew Gotti leaves behind his two parents his wife anna and three younger siblings, all teenagers, one of whom is a heart patient right now at Monroe Carroll here in Nashville. Tom. Mm. Lauren, thanks so much. Touching sentiments from that dad there.